Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. I'm Craig, not Craig, and to my right is a very good-looking Kieran. Unnecessary volume. <laughs> Unnecessary volume. You're such a prick. <laughs> it's the Halloween special. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to the pod, everybody. This is the Halloween special. We have a pumpkin. Um, you, yeah, you know it's Halloween because we've got a pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, pumpkin. Obviously. We've got a pumpkin right here, so it's now officially Halloween. Um, as Halloween, I've I've chosen to go as a. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> really? Because I've come as my hero. Do you know what I will say? You're really pulling that. Am I? Off. So for audio, li- uh, audio listeners only, we've we're dre- we've dressed as each other. Yeah, we swapped. You've got my Tesco with a K shirt on my my the classic grey joggers. You've got a T shirt on your head to represent my long hair. Yep. yep. And I've got your drip on. I've, mm. I've got a chain, got a hat. Honestly, right, I'm I'm kind of pulling it off. It's only now that I look at it from this point of view. I'm like, that is actually quite a sick outfit, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a nice outfit, yeah. I wouldn't go out in it because I think you can see my nipples through this shit. <laughs> no, you can't. You're good, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, I, don't, I don't know about the camera and the light and stuff. Yeah. But... It's, oh my god, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Just sat here with my boobs <laughs> out, like gonna end up on Twitter or something. But yeah, we've it's Halloween. Yeah. Ah, ooh, spooky, scary. It's skeletons. weird. It's weird sat over it, here. Yeah, it's weird looking to my left oh, to yeah, see. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> we we. We were initially, I remember when we started the pod and we were like, oh, when we get to Halloween, let's go as the Tate Brothers. Yeah, which I think would have been fucking immense. That would have been really fun. Bald caps and everything. Yeah, that would have taken a lot of of things. I know, they've they've sort of become irrelevant lately. Yeah, they're not really like mainstream news anymore. Um, But because we're hilarious, we thought, let's just go as each other. Very very easy. And here we are. Unnecessary (laughs) volume! So go on, do the rest. We start today's You're pod. You're finished? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got more to say, and I'm going to talk over you multiple times to say it. <laughs> Such a prick. <laughs> right. No, uh, but yeah. But yeah, moving on. <laughs> Starting the pod off, as we always do, with the viewer get in the bin. Is that how I sound? Is that how I speak? Uh, apparently. <laughs> yeah, you do now. <laughs> This week uh, comes from at Mo- Moza Morrison eight f- eight four seven eight. I couldn't read the numbers then. Come on, I'm being new in it. <laughs> Stuttered all the time. Yeah, I can't read. And he says, "Get in the bin." There's a bit of profanity in there. Oh, okay, okay. We don't have profanity on this oh, Craig, on this podcast. As, as Craig, Craig doesn't swear, even though you just called me the c word. No, that was me as as myself. Oh, did I'm, you... I'm in character now. Oh, okay, you know? okay, in, into character. Okay. Right, anyway, back, back into character. Get in the bin. The price increase on Monster. How can you? How can Tesco and Asda charge one pound eighty for a Monster? It's sacrilege. And honestly, I couldn't agree more. I love Monster. It is my blood. It is everything I think about of every waking hour of the day. And honestly, the price increase is really, really disgusting. I'm dying for a cigarette. Oh, that's just no need. <laughs> <laughs> just no need. In that. Oh, that's the thing as well. I know we got um, we got the New Year's resolution video. Oh, coming we up do, soon. we do. And yeah. I know that my New Year's resolution was to quit smoking. And was it? Yeah, and I just know that like that that hasn't happened. That's that's, that's so. not gonna go well. For I mean, you. I'm Craig. I I don't smoke. I'm Keep, a good yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, but yeah, the price increase of Monster it is extortion. Yeah, all jokes aside. It uh, is. Yeah, <laughs> I remember when I started drinking them. They were one nineteen. <sighs> What a time. And now... Even, I remember, though, back then being like, that's way too expensive for that, a drink. That was a lot for a drink. Why don't you just get a 35p energy drink? Did you know those are fucking, like, 65p now? No. Something like that, like, 50-odd p. What sort of world do we live Mate, in? honest. That those are now 60... Like, it's like Freddo's, bro. Honestly. Like, Have you seen that Freddo's... He's lost weight. He's now skinnier. Skinny Freddo, yeah? Yeah, so it, it used to be the whole... Cho- Take note. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you fat fuck, shut up. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, it's like it used to be the whole Freddo was the Freddo. What's yeah. his name? Is it Fred? I think it's just Freddo. Is, is it just Freddo? Freddo? Yeah, yeah. It used to be the whole thing, but now like they've made him skinnier and they've just given it a background, so there's just excess chocolate around his waistline. I don't know why, because you know what's wrong with being fat? 
Not very I much. mean, I hate fat people. I'm Kieran. Oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Oh, my God. We can cancel each other doing this. <laughs> I could, I, it's not all fat people, just you. If, <laughs> <laughs> if I say the N word right now, would you get cancelled? Definitely not. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. <laughs> Definitely it? not. I beg you, don't. Because that's the just podcast yeah. over there. Let's, let, let's not test it. Just let's wrap, wrap test up it. your career. Like. Uh, yeah, Price of Monster is extortionate right now. Yeah. And I th- I feel like it's going to be a matter of time before it's £2.50, but I will still buy them because I have a problem. I wonder at what point the like the multi, multi-packs multi just become a two-pack. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> to be fair, they've gone up to a nine-pack. It, 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 they they have eight packs and then nine packs. I don't know why they don't just do ten because now it's just a big square box full of monster. It's got to be some sort of packaging, Probably. Because otherwise you'd have just like a pure long box be, of monster. It, it would be really long, yeah. But again, I would still buy it. Yeah, you definitely would. But yeah, I I'm cretin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, just sip my monster. S- speaking of, I'm rocking a pipeline punch today because I am Kieran, and this this is my favorite monster. It's okay. Yeah. I feel like I feel like I should have shaved patches into my beard as well, just to really complete the look. <laughs> yeah, you could have given me the excess here and I could have stuck it on my eyebrows. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Is this entire pod just gonna be One us? <laughs> is this entire pod just gonna be us making fun of each other? Is this a roast now? Is, is is. Oh, we should definitely do we a should roast. We should hundred percent do a roast. Get the boys involved. Yeah. That'd be class. I'd love to get roasted by the boys. Oh, my God. Just me and you sit in and just get roasted. There'd be... I'd have to censor so much. A lot of it would have to get cut. Yeah, 100%. We should definitely do that, though. Yeah. We should write that down. Write that down. Add add it to the list. How do you wear hats all the time? My head is killing me. (laughs) Oh, get get, try. Are you gonna loosen it? Yeah, it's fine. Put put it one one down because I always have it one tighter. It's fine. I'll I'll deal with it. It's okay. Just don't be a bitch, innit? I'm Kieran. I'm a man. I don't I don't need help from other men. I can do this all myself. (laughs) When have I ever said that? I don't know. I'm just (laughs) saying, (laughs) son. I always want help. Help me. Help me, please. Uh, but yeah, price. Uh, (laughs) I keep saying, but yeah, still. Wait, but yeah, (laughs) price Uh, a monster. Way too high. That's my, that's my line. Sorry. But yeah, price a monster. Way too high. <laughs> Do you ever get in the bin? Or? <laughs> oh my God. You go first with your get in the bin. I'll let you go first. Um, I did have one before. Did you have one? Yeah. Was it something to do with movies by any chance? Because you talk about it nothing was, but movies. Yeah. As Craig, my get in the bin. <laughs> you, just, you don't have to say as Craig. As, as Craig. We're bad at this. We're so bad at this. As Craig, I'm going to just just moan about something in the cinema, but still go to the cinema. <laughs> That's it. Get in the bin I will, over. I will say, uh, so the Five Nights at Freddy's movie came out recently. Oh, you put that in the bin. Uh, no, the, the, the movie itself is a bit shit, but... What can get in the bin is the type of people who are going to see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Uh-oh. The fan cast of uh, the fan, the fans of Five Nights at Freddy, they can get in the bin. Freddy's. Freddy's. I don't know. <laughs> it's a fucking load of shit. It's a kids' film. Like. <laughs> but yeah, because there's like a lot of people who, to put it in the nicest possible way, weirdos. Uwus. No, no, not so much Uwus. It's um, no? it's like people who grew up watching obviously Markiplier and Jack Scepter kind of stuff like that. You, me, yeah, <laughs> oh, but me, <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you. Um, but yeah, it's like those sort of people who are now going and like you know they don't go to the cinema a lot. Yeah, they're yeah. going because it's the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, so their cinema etiquette is non-existent. Mm. So they're going, and apparently I've seen tweets of people being like, "Here's a list of stuff that happened." in my screen in a Five Nights at Freddy's uh, and it's been things from like like 13 year old kids being in there and like filming quote unquote TikToks oh. being like oh my god it's Five Nights at Freddy's movie it's it's Golden Freddy it's this person it's that person oh. uh, there's a couple of YouTuber cameos in it that people clap when they happen oh. uh, there's something that happens in it and apparently when it happened a, a, a large majority of the of the crowd just went the bite of 87 which is which is law in oh and you know when it all goes quiet just before the movie starts yeah yeah apparently in one guy's screening there was a guy at the front who said this better be law accurate 
Because there's a lot of law when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's. You have no... Have you ever seen Matt Pat's videos? Uh, no, I, I've seen him on... I've never, like... He's made... He's in the movie. Oh, is he? He, he makes a cameo, yeah. And he's a um, he's a waiter. Spoilers for Five Nights at Freddy's, by the way. Uh, he, he's a waiter and he says, like, oh, well, lunch is the most important meal, meal of the day. And someone goes, isn't that breakfast? He's like, oh, you could say that, but it's just a theory. And then... Oh, it's a good cameo. It was, it was a decent cameo, yeah. He, um... He's one of them actors that look like a lot of people. Like, he looks like RJ Mite from Breaking Bad. RJ Mitty. Is it Mitty? I think it's Mitty, yeah. Oh. But yeah, what a white son. He does a bit, He yeah. looks like him. He looks like... Um, who's the one I thought, said the other day that he looked like? And I have to check it. I can't remember. Oh, what was he on? Oh, the one from uh, Gavin and Stacey. Oh, Dino. Dino. He's in yeah. Horrible History. Yeah, well. yeah. He does look a lot like him. He yeah, looked at yeah. So, yeah, like, I, to, like, I was like, is that the... No, no, no. <laughs> um, but, yeah, there's, like, uh, just people going to this movie. Luckily, the one I went to was fine. Like, yeah, I went yeah. to, I, I've started going to earlier screenings. Yeah. So, I don't get those crowds. Sometimes I still do, but, like, for Barbie, it was horrible. <laughs> um, but, yeah. That that's Craig's get in the bin is yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's is, fans is people like that get in the bin yeah, but yeah, what's well, yours sure get in the bin something unnecessary that I'm gonna rant about for twelve minutes so you know this thing yeah it just really annoys me and it can just fuck off it can just completely fuck off I don't like it it doesn't have any effect on my life or anyone else's life but it can fuck off I don't like it so it can fuck off. I'm going to chirp in with something completely irrelevant here <laughs> <laughs> so you can carry on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that, too. Oh, my God. I hate it so much. It's the worst. Oh, my God. It's just, oh, it's the worst thing in the world. I hate it. Oh, what a what a dick. Interrupts you to say something to piss you off. Oh, you see? You see? <laughs> this is what I mean. This is what I mean. How can you say that? How can you say that? <laughs> Makes a valid point. Nah, yeah, you got a point there. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. You, know, I'll give you Alan. I'll give you Alan. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> do you know how long I've been sitting on that? Oh, fair play. I don't have an actual get in the bin. And I was, I was just no, saying, like, no. I know exactly what I'm gonna we'll do. We'll leave it at that. Unnecessary <laughs> volume. Such a prick. I don't sit like that. I do though, <laughs> <laughs> and it's comfy. I do. I want to be comfy. Uh, but yeah, no, nah, wait, that's not me. Up. Oh. But yeah, uh, moving on with the... Happy Halloween, happy, everyone. Happy Halloween. One thing, uh, we have, only because she's behind the camera again, she won't leave us alone. She's still here, guys. It, it's it's Kieran's loving wife. Wife? Miss... When did that happen? Did I say life or wife? You said, you said wife, yeah. I meant wife, yeah. Yeah, but when did that, when... Is there oh. something you guys aren't telling me? No, you was there. You just got very drunk. And then oh. It... Yeah. Fair. What? You was the one who got married, bro. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's behind the camera right now. Yeah, Miss Holly Lang. Uh, if you go over to her channel, link down below. I'm Craig, I'm not that lazy. I'll definitely put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you'll see me, Craig, and Holly carving some pumpkins. We have two more just like this. We bought them off the side of the road. They are massive. Yeah, we legit went. Like, I, we... I, I was not expecting you to come back with such... Big pumpkins. Honestly, I weren't expecting to find ones. It's literally like what? It's, it's the 29th. Yeah, it's two days before Halloween, and we, me and Holly, was like, "Hey, let's go buy some pumpkins." And luckily, we found these from some random guy selling them off out the back of a van. Pumpkin man. Road. Yeah, he definitely like stole them out of a field or something. But I don't mind because we get to camp them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a video on Holly's channel. Go check that out. Link down below. She was very insistent that we mentioned that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though she's just hit 700,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh. Congrats, congrats, congrats. But congrats. she's asking us with less than six. Yeah. I know. <laughs> shout <laughs> us out. Yeah. You shout us out. Come on. Okay, okay. But yeah, that'll be on I'll be on Holly's channel if you want to go check it out. Um, do you have anything prepared for this Halloween special? Uh, I was just going to mix some pumpkin with Monster. People are definitely going to ask me to do that, and I might actually do it. That's not a bad shout, actually. There's no. someone on Instagram who was, they do that thing like day summing of, uh, of Monster and da-da-da. Uh, I yeah. think they've made it a 50 days of asking for Monster and Pumpkin, so I might shout her out when I do Fair it. Play. See, I feel like people should start doing that as videos. 
like rather than commenting on your thing, just like. Well, there was a little girl, wasn't there? That was really fucking stitched cute. on it. Yeah, oh, okay. it wasn't like her account. It was like her mum's yeah. or something. And they asked me to do monster and pizza. Still haven't done it because I hate children. <laughs> that, oh, that that I, was me as Kieran talking. That's my line. No, I still haven't done it because I hate there children. There we go. There we go. <laughs> you should do. I just thought of this. You should do a monster video on my TikTok like that. Definitely not. <laughs> just, Why not? Just no, because I've seen the shit you mix with it. I guess I'm hot sauce. So I'll do that again. No, no, no. Why am I always that guy? I don't know. I, I don't... I'm, what, I'm fed up. I don't like hot food anyway. Yeah, and suddenly know. I'm the eating the fucking hot chip challenge and all that. Well, so, it... Sorry, that's your line. <laughs> eating the hot chip <laughs> challenge. Uh, yeah, it was one of those things, like, I, I got it, and I was like, oh, I gotta get Kieran in on this. Like, this is gonna be really funny. Yeah. And then you just became the hot... Like, when I did the spiciest one just before you got hacked, yeah. you stupid bastard. Oh, yeah. Those, those Nigerian prince, <laughs> what, what can I say? <laughs> you just twat. Um, yeah, like, the spiciest one, people were asking where you were. People were asking why why wasn't Kieran in this one. Because I don't want to die. <laughs> it was horrible. It, I'm it fed was... up. I'm fed <laughs> up. Well, what, what videos do you want to be in then, Kieran? I don't. <laughs> I don't even want to be in it. Oh, no. I don't want to be an influencer, <laughs> even though I've, I'm on this, Craig's TikTok, Holly's TikTok, I have a couple's accounts. Do the unnecessary shout out part that I always do. No, just, just shout oh, out. the, oh, yeah. But I do <laughs> want, I do want to reach 10,000 followers without, without posting a video. So if you can go follow me, that would be great. Thanks, bro. Thanks. That's all right. Go follow me. Yeah. Thank you guys. So we move, go, go follow me. Go <laughs> fo- I want to hit 10,000 before, uh, without posting a video. Thank you. So yeah, do you have any, go follow me, please. I I'm I'm desperate. Please. Like all seriousness, I do want to get there before <laughs> before the end of the year. So if you guys don't already follow me on TikTok, please do. Also follow my Instagram because I'm almost at 900 followers. What What do you want now on TikTok? You want 9,000? Uh, eight six 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 six. <gasps> Halloween. Eight, I want to say eight six six three. Eight six six three. Were you laughing at my face just then? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it. Eight six eight nine has gone up. Oh, nice, nice, oh. cool. <laughs> they, they're listening. They're is, listening. Is this live. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, in all seriousness, do you have anything prepared for this? For this? because uh, I I do. I have. Oh I, yeah, and then quite crack on. Honestly, do I, I have, do you have anything? No, like, no, 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 I not at all. Honestly, completely forgot that we were recording today. To be honest, how how the roles have reversed? Quite literally. <laughs> Um, so what I've got <coughs> is I got a few uh, fucked up stories. Oh this is, yeah, I forgot we was meant to be doing this. Like, yeah, yeah. We, so, did, we did pre-discuss this. So I just haven't pulled my weight. Sorry, pulled your weight is a lot of it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is obviously being Halloween, this is a scary time of year. Uh, I thought it'd be fun for us to talk about. They're not really scary. They're just really like messed up stories. Okay. And they all come from a TikTok account called, I believe it's con underst- underscore spiracy on TikTok. I'll leave his link in the description. He does the, um you've, you've probably seen him, he's a morbid facts uh, part yeah, 300 yeah. and da da da. Uh, these are all from him. So if you want to go check out more of this, go over to his TikTok. He's got like 7 million followers, I believe. So mm-hmm. me shouting him out isn't going to do anything. But still, I want, I want you guys to know that this is where I got him from. But yeah. Do you want to let's go. hear, yeah, hear a few? Yeah, so I've got, go, go. I've got five. Nice. I've okay. got four short-ish ones and one pretty long one. Okay. okay. But one of the short-ish ones is messed up. Okay. So I'll leave that one to Are all these true stories? These are all true stories. 100% mm. true. Uh, and yeah, these all actually happen. Okay. Okay. Starting off a bit tame and we'll get a bit, you know. Yeah, nice. yeah. So, can I just say you should wear hats? You know, you think so? I think you should wear hats. It's, is it in my brain? Yeah, yeah, but like wear them properly, like loosen it off and that. Maybe, maybe. Hide your hairline. Now you're talking to me as me or talking to me as Kieran? Yeah, both. <laughs> <laughs> it works both Wor- ways. Works either way. Uh, but yeah, so first messed up story. Are you ready? Let's go. In the 1920s, there was a health drink called Radithor. That literally contained radium mixed with water. The fuck is radium? Radiation. Oh, okay. Its manufacturer claimed the radioactive drink not only provided energy, but also cured a host of ailments, including cancer and depression. Whoa. Should have got you some of this. (laughs) But 
He hasn't got cancer. <laughs> for anyone, <laughs> for anyone jumping to that conclusion. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. <laughs> oh wait, I on. She gave herself some of this. Sounds sounds tasty. <clears throat> but the drink was eventually pulled from shelves in 1932 when it started causing customers' jaws to fall off. What, like mid-sentence? This is the exact question I have. How does your jaw just fall off? That got to happen all the time, surely. There's got to be some forewarning to that. 100% they went to the doctors. I'm I'm, I'm feeling a little bit. (laughs) Oh, shit. Like, do, do they, like there's, there's when no they say way. that as well, does, is like the skin still attached or does it, the whole thing just like... Apparently the whole jaw just fell off because they're drinking radiation. Well, yeah, it, like... But 100%. That's quite mad though how it starts at the jaw. You'd think like your fucking innards... Oh, are... they were definitely feeling a little bit a little bit icky. But what's mad... Uh... Your poo can't be good after no, that. No, r- literally your shits are radioactive. Oh. Um, And they were throwing it out their windows. This was the 1920s, bro. It's like that one Imagine Dragons song. What? Radioactive. Oh, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, but what... But, yeah, like, it's 100% something that happened, like, in the hospital. Hopefully, a long time later. Yeah. Not they weren't just walking on the street when they went, oh, shit. Oh, well, shit. They couldn't even say anymore. Like, oh, ha. Oh, shit, that's my rotten teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They look like my bottom teeth. They are my fucking bottom teeth. <laughs> Another thing that's mad is it says it was in the 1920s. You and I over there? It's the bottom teeth thing. <laughs> they are my they, they are fucking bottom teeth. What the fuck? Oh, 100% as well. Because it was the 1920s. They thought they could just reattach it. Oh, yeah. Like they were Lego or Bit something. Bit of sellotape, like. Um, what, what else is mad is it says it was in the 1920s and it only got pulled off shelves in 1932. Fair. So this was on shelves for a good few years. Like, like at least... Like, Touching 10 years. Yeah, like, yeah. That's mad. 100% if I was alive in the 1920s, I would have drank that. You in the mix, I would fucking ale. With, <laughs> with ye, ye olde monster. Yeah. <laughs> fucking moonshine. Moonshine, yeah. Moonstar, that's what it is. Moonstar. <laughs> oh my God, that's a genius idea. Moonshine and monster. Moonstar. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm, uh, people no, are going to... No. I'm patterning that. <laughs> People are definitely going to be fucking trying that. Oh, 100%. 100%. Right. Next one. <clears throat> the Burnden Park disaster was a human crush that occurred in 1946 at Burnden Park Football Stadium in England. Overcrowding resulted in the deaths of 33 people and injuries to hundreds more. The bodies were then left on the sidelines covered with coats and the game was later resumed and finished with corpses still on the field. What? I know. Yeah, mate, mate. Oh, he's, he's dead, him. He's, oh, shit, I passed it to a dead guy. So that's like Hillsborough. It's, it's my bad. Like Hillsborough like, happening and then Liverpool still going out there. And then, yeah, then them just putting coats over the dead bodies. That's... And going, ah, oh, go on, lads. That's nuts. Yeah. 19... Were you? 1946. So a year after World War II. I was II just going to say, just after the war. Mm. That's mad. Like, imagine that, though. To be fair, then again, like, I suppose, like, everyone was sort of numb to seeing dead bodies at that point. Oh, yeah. Like, just, just after a, the war. A year like. after the war ended, like, or two years after the war ended. What's, what's mad to me is, when did Hillsborough happen? That was, like, the 90s? 90... It was something like that, wasn't it? Three? Something like Yeah, have a little, have a little look for that, and... What's mad to me is like, so this shit happened twice. Overcrowding happened twice in 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 a football yeah. game. Like you'd think that after fucking oh eighty nine, eighty nine, fifteenth wow. of April eighty nine. Yeah, when it like ninety six people died or something like that. Uh, a crush in the lower t- tier of the Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield, a city in northern England. Uh, an FA Cup semi final match led to the deaths of ninety seven Liverpool supporters on April fifteenth, nineteen eighty nine. Do you want to know who that 97th per- person was? It was a guy who... This is another thing I found out whilst researching some fucked up facts. Um, it was a guy who couldn't go to the game, so he gave his ticket to his friend, who obviously died in the no. in the tragedy. He ended up taking his own life in 2011. That's nuts. So he became the 97th victim of the Hillsborough. Fuck, okay, no. But yeah, imagine you're just there playing football and there's 
just dead people on the side. That's fucking that. That's you'd feel pretty silly if your goal got saved by a dead guy. Right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how the players like yo chuck chuck in behind you, lad. <laughs> fucking give us an advantage. <laughs> so stick a couple of them along the bottom of the goal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's bad. Though, it's that. not funny. It's it's obviously like we're making light of it, but this that's that, that's fucked, fucked, up. fucks, man. Yeah, like people's loved ones were dead on the sideline, and these guys were. Sue, <laughs> <laughs> I, I I can't help it. I'm so sorry. Man I'm really Sue. sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Messed up. Sue. But yeah, it was the whole like the fact that they just covered them. Oh, he's, he's still laughing. That was funny. The fact they um they covered them in coats. Whose coats? <laughs> their coats. I'm guessing. <laughs> just take their coats off them. That's what that's what wonder it. What's buzzing? Oh, that's the little TV. Is it? Yeah, they'll stop now. Halloween episode. Ghosts. Ghosts. <laughs> go, 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 ghosts. Go, 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 ghosts. Rot roll, Raggy. <laughs> it's a go, 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 ghost. It's an old man with us. Watch out. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, all that explodes. It's all catches fire. That's loud. I, I don't know. Hang on. Do you think the mics will be able to pick that up? So you guys can't see this, but I have three screens behind the camera. And the smallest one, they're all TVs, but the smallest one got a DVD player in the side of it. It's getting then, louder. Every now and then, they'll just start buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> Screen five's buzzing. All right, cheers. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go tell manager. I'll go t- no, I'm not, I'm not leaving a review, mate. It's li- literally buzzing. Remember that, Peter K. Go, I love it. Go bang it or something. It don't work. I've tried it. No. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do the first time that happened? I first it was just after I got my PC fixed. Oh. So I thought it was my PC, and I was like, nah, nah. Probably like sticking my head next to it. I was like, that's coming from over the other side. <laughs> Swung my head over, and it was like, what the fuck? And then I turned it, and then realized it was a DVD player. Oh. I think there's a DVD in it, but I keep pressing the eject button, and nothing comes out. Then um uh. You woke up the other day and the electric had gone in the flat. It took me a good fucking 40 fucking minutes to realise what had <laughs> happened. I was there, I was checking That's fuse so box funny. and everything. That's so funny. That's great. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to power through. I think. Yeah, there's, there's so, nothing, sorry if you're going to hear that, guys. There's nothing we can do about that. Right, next messed up story. <clears throat> I love Monster! But in necessary <laughs> volume! <coughs> <laughs> yeah, you need a cough for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I just hit my fucking the cap of the thing. You sounded like a fucking whale. <laughs> <laughs> like Dory from Finding Nemo. Right, anyway, moving on. Next messed up thing. Um, okay. So a device. Are you legit yawning now? Yeah. Oh my god. Can you do this without thinking of it? Sorry, go on. A device called the Skull's Bridal was used to pub- publicly humiliate women in the 19th century. Yeah. On the inside. <laughs> oh god. On the inside of the device, which Craig will probably put a picture up of. Probably not because he's lazy. On the inside of the device. Uh, it had a metal plate that would press down on the tongue and prevent the wearer from speaking. It was placed on women who were said to be troublesome to keep them quiet and prevent them from gossiping. Fucking, you need some of that. I knew he was going to say that. You need some of that. Do you know, yeah. do you know as soon as I knew... Watch your lip. As soon as, <laughs> as, soon as I knew Holly was going to be here, I was like, he's going to... Oh, wait, sorry. You need some of that. Watch your lip. <laughs> but yeah... Messed up, huh? That's, that's... 19th century. Though, I, they, I, they did some messed up shit to women. I was going to say, century. back then, it was quite fucked, though, like, what they used to do to women. Like, fucking... You hear, like, some of the stories. It's, it's like, all the torture devices as well. Yeah. And they had, like, unnecessary amount of time went into making those. Yeah, and there was a <laughs> lot of detail yeah. as well. Like, a lot of people were, what, like... What's your favourite torture device? Like medieval. Oh, I like the classic, the the stretchy one. You know, when they're like that, they just stretch their limbs off. Nah, do you know what one I like? What's that? So it's like, remember the horses that you had to jump over in pee? 
like oh the, yeah the yeah, beam yeah, with the four yeah. legs it was yeah. one of them but the beam in the middle was a big like triangle fucking log oh my god right and what they'd do they'd strip you naked set you on that right and they'd tie your hands like that so you can't go anywhere and they'd tie uh bricks like big fucking stones to either one of your feet and just leave you there until the weight of the stones ripped oh, your whole body in half. Oh my god. Yeah. From the anus. From the gooch up, like. Sweet baby Jesus. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. Effective. I don't know how effective that would be. That, well, like, you're definitely going to die at if, some if, point. If you want to just kill them in the most painful way possible, that is... The, that, that, that'll do it. If but you want... If, like, if someone wanted information out of me and they took me to that thing, I'll tell them everything they wanted to know. Oh, they wouldn't, they'd get one brick on. Yeah, what, <laughs> what day it was, what the weather was like, the humidity. For how I was feeling at the time. Yeah, literally. What my relationship is with my parents. How, how many hairs are on my head. Who had the worst home life when I was in school. They would literally... <laughs> They would literally get everything out of me. Everything. But, yeah, the fact that in the 19th century, if your wife was being a little bit lippy, you could be like, I'll get it. What was it called? I'll get a skull's bridle. I'll get it. I'll get the mask. I will. You'll Take note. You'll Take fucking note. learn then, won't you? Whoa. So, yeah, what was that about a picture? There's a picture of it, is it? Oh, I, did, I didn't get the picture. Oh. Wait, did I get the picture? Find it and send it to me just in your own time for no reason. Oh, I did. So... There we go. What? Honestly, I'd shit. That'd scare the shit out of uh, you, If I it? walked in, right, and my missus was wearing that. Oh, fucking shit. Jesus. Do you want to see what they look like with it on? I'm... It's kind of horny, actually. Oh, you have to. <laughs> you have to take it. You have to, you have to take it there. Holly just flipped you off. Yeah, she's not happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Wait. Stop! Stop pissing off my missus. Sorry, sorry. Jesus Christ! Um, but yeah, like I there, love monster. Are, <laughs> back in the character, there are some women now who I'd like to see you try and put one of those on them. Oh, you know what I mean, bro? Like it'd be there, like like they put they'd put that on men I'm now. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like who'd be the funniest woman to try and get that on. Ron, Ronda Rousey. Fiona from Shrek. She fucking needed a muzzle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> because that's essentially what, it's just a muzzle for women. It's basically a muzzle for women, yeah. But it, it'll push your tongue down so you couldn't, like, say anything. It's just but unnecessary, though, it? Is. It? Just talk to your missus. Isn't it? Just be like, oh, I love, do you mind just, you know. Shutting up. Yeah, like, <laughs> you're doing my head in a little. Do you mind just, yeah, like. Fuck, wind your neck in a bit. Huh? You know <laughs> no, what I mean? no, no, not wind your neck in <laughs> Oh my god! I'm in, the, I'm in the doghouse later. Like I know, hundred percent, hundred percent. But yeah, no wonder. Like, it was like a long time before women had the courage to like speak up and like ask to vote and stuff. Yeah, well, they're, they're like, yo, they put a bloody muzzle on me. I don't want that. It's like the whole thing though of like back in the day where it's like your missus got out of line, you just fucking, you know, give it one of them. Like, it was a different time. It's but it's mad, like how. Who initially said that out loud? And people were like, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah well, so that's, you know, our genius idea. You swear like. down, I slapped my missus as well, mate. So. Yeah, I, I slapped, she burnt my she burnt my porridge the other day. Yeah, fuck you. You know, the, you, she's making butter. Took her ages, mate. What's she doing? I say you make butter. <laughs> <laughs> Baby butter. Who nah. told you that? <laughs> that's literally, they have like Fucking a barrel. Fucking glitter. They have a barrel, <laughs> don't they? And they carry glitter. Oh, my God. Um, but yeah, Skull's Bridal. Hashtag bring it back. Nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't bring it back. That's a horrible thing to do to a person. But yeah, next Kay. one. So this is <laughs> this is the long one. Oh okay. this one's this one's pretty it's not like super long, but it's 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 a bit of a story. Do I have to get myself into like do I have to No no no, you'd be fine, you'd be fine. Why would what? <laughs> <laughs> Just get gaze up in the zone, is it? Yeah, yeah, so I can like fully intake the story. <laughs> um, right, so <clears throat> a South African man named Martin Pistorius <laughs> <laughs> Pistorius <laughs> got sick and fell into a coma when he was twelve years old. He remained in a vegetative state for twelve years. Or at least that's what the doctors thought. Because two years into the coma Martin regained consciousness, but was unable to show to show any signs of it. 
he had entered a state known as locked in syndrome where the patient is aware but can't move or commu or communicate due to complete paralysis of all voluntary muscles other than the eyes so he was trapped in a lifeless state for more than a decade while being fully aware of everything going on around him he said the worst part was when his caretaker would sit him in front of baby tv shows like barney and teletubbies all day long on multiple occasions he also heard his mother say i hope you die luckily his caretaker eventually noticed that he was responding to her words uh, with his eyes and doctors finally confirmed that he was conscious today martin can speak through a computer and move with a wheelchair he has a wife and kids and wrote a book about the experience called ghost boy I need to read this book. So for over a decade, this guy was just laying there. That, unable to move, but was fully aware of what was going on. That would fuck with you, that. That sounds like a nightmare. Just sat there watching Barney with nothing like and can't Bro. do anything. Like. Barney is a dinosaur. Like, oh. And Teletubby. Like, why? Oh, no. Nah, like, couldn't. I'm aware he was 12 when he slept into the coma, but... It reached a point where, like, if, you, if you're putting him in front of the telly, you have to think, like, he has some sort of cognitive thought. So, why nah, are you still showing him baby shows? But at the th you got to think, they didn't think that. They thought he was just, like, in a vegeted state. So, like, obviously... Oh, yeah. Like, when, they're, like, when someone gets in that sort of state, it's more like, you want to stimulate the, like... Yeah, yeah, like, um, bright shapes and colours yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, fair, I, fair. I couldn't think of the fucking thing but yeah you want to fucking yeah just give him more dopamine and stuff like that rather than actual entertainment so I, i'm guessing that was the theory behind that yeah maybe, maybe if we show but, him all this he'll come he'll snap out of yo, it imagine just being sat there for 10 years watching kid shows 10 years bro like you go to sleep you wake up watch barney go to sleep. Get, get fed through a tube oh, nah just fully aware like i'm aware of you right now fully aware but i can't speak i can't move i can only move my eyes it's like, you ever had sleep paralysis? Yeah. It's like that. Like that, but constantly. Because oh. initially when I heard this story, I, I very nearly didn't include it because I was like, oh, that's not that bad. But when you think about when, it... When, yeah, when you deep that... When you're there like 10 years every day... Nah, I couldn't do it. Like, I honestly... Like, like it makes you start to go like, nah. When his mum's like, I hope you die, I get that. But... <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Like, like genuine, genuine. Because, like, if that was my well, kid... Yeah, we don't know how she said it. Yeah, like, if that was my kid, I'd be, like, honestly, like... And then, like, I'd, I'd rather my kid pass on than have to go yeah. through that. Because we've said to each other multiple times, like, if I'm brain dead... Oh, off shut me. it off, shut it off. That's don't... why you're my next of kin and not mum. Because yeah, I know if, like, yeah. it ever comes to the stage where it's like... Oh, uh, yeah, he's going to be vegetated or... Yeah, like, like he's, we can just switch his machine off. Like he's gonna be alive, but he's not gonna be able to speak, move, talk, anything. Yeah. I think I said this to you before. I think it like not to like compare like who has it worse and whatever. Like obviously everyone has their own individual circumstance and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. But I do feel that it'd be worse to become Yeah, yeah. Vegetated rather, rather than, than be, being born in. Yeah, because, yeah. Because like obviously you've had the experience of having like full work in control over yeah. your muscles and stuff it's, it's like, like that it's like, it's like going blind yeah yeah like i think the most i could probably deal with i like if i lost my legs i'd go into yeah. a deep state of depression don't get me wrong but yeah. like i'd have, like i could eventually learn to live with that mm. but i couldn't like neck down or like whatever i don't think i could deal with that yeah so when they say like his mum said to him i hope you die I'd be like, yeah same it could yeah yeah he was probably you, there like yeah me too honestly me, me too like like pillow me please yeah like genuine like that'd be like that'd be my thought behind it anyway is like i'd rather i'd rather not have to suffer through this yeah than fucking yeah like death sounds a lot better than this mm. but like imagine being that that caretaker who like looked at him saw that his eyes were doing a certain thing and be like he fucking knows what i'm saying well there's that whole thing in it is like they they like eventually like you notice things like that and you would say like, oh, look right if you can understand me. And then if they went like that, you'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm, I'm really <laughs> surprised they didn't do that sooner. Yeah. Because if they could see his eyes were moving. Well, they, they go for the whole thing of like, squeeze my finger, blink twice. Yeah, it also doesn't that. say when this happened, but I'm, I'm assuming yeah. it happened a while ago. Yeah. But yeah, fuck, that's fucking... It's, it's yeah, being 
trapped in your own body. Ten, ten years. Ten years, man. Being awake but in a coma. Like you wake up but you can't move. That's fucked. And like you just see all these people around you, mate. Apparently though, like people who go into coma say that that's what it's like. Like you can still hear everything yeah. that's going on around you, and like you're still aware and stuff. Something I like is um, I saw like a TikTok the other day, like uh, things in movies that are just wrong. And it, it was things like, oh, uh, getting shot is no big deal. But obviously it is. Even, yeah. even if you get shot in the arm, you can't just go on, you know, taking out bad guys. Yeah. And another one was um, people waking up from a 10 plus year coma, fine. Yeah. Where if that actually happened, you would be brain dead. Yeah. Also, you'd have to like learn to walk, talk. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like people who wake up from comas and like they sit up and like, where am I? It was like. That won't happen. Get a little wobble and then they're running through the fucking hospital. Yeah, room. yeah. Like, that that won't happen at all. It would be a It nightmare. would with me because I'm a fucking beast. But... Wait, wait, wait. It would with, with me because I'm a beast. Yeah. I can get through anything because I'm, cause I'm Kieran. Not me, though. I'm Craig. I'm a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, but, yeah. For... But, yeah. Nightmare, Whoa. <laughs> absolute nightmare. But um, I, I went through the comments of like that video, and a lot of people were saying like the book is really good. Yeah, I, I need to get. Why is there not a film made on Ebola? I think there might be. I think there was like a little mini series or something, yeah. but it was like back in like the nineties or something, so it wasn't very good. Uh, okay. Um, okay. but yeah, it's uh, yeah. How do you like? I I just I'd, what would you ask him if you met him now? What would you ask him? <sighs> I don't know. Hang on. It would. I. I think I'd just be like. So what was it like? Like I'd. I'd say like. At what point did you break mentally? At what point did you? Oh, he hundred percent broke. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I'd have to say to him like. At what point in your head did you start thinking? I don't like. I can't deal with this anymore. Like he, the, I, I'd. I'd rather death. He a hundred percent wanted to off himself within, multiple times. When was the first time? I reckon within the first year. Yeah, like, like imagine six months. Barney, bro. Barney, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using Barney as an example, but like, just watching Barney or the like, and like, so you'd be there, and there'd be like doctors around you and stuff talking about like life events, and, and and like stuff that's happening. Yeah, like think about it. Like, so what was it? Ten years he was in a coma. He was he was in a coma for twelve. He was conscious for ten. So fucking, that's like, at age of twelve, two years in a coma. And then 10 years conscious after that, was it? Yeah, but still in the coma. So from my, the, age, the age of me from 14 to 24, that's like COVID. Yeah. So like the entire entire uh, entire world have shut down. Yeah. And you're just... Yeah, like people around you being like, oh, we got to mask up, we got to sanitize. And you're just there like, what's going on? Just get like thinking the fucking world's both ways. Yeah. And you're just there, Barney again. <laughs> Thing is, there's not that many episodes of Barney. And, and Teletubbies, he definitely watched the same episode multiple oh, times. Bro. Do you reckon now, I, I know it said he speaks through a computer, but do you reckon in his head he just hears, Barney is a dinosaur? I like, reckon, all I the reckon time. he can make some fat beats on his fucking... Apparently it's like a really inspirational story as well, because he has, he has a wife and kids and everything. Yeah, I'm going to read, the, what was the book called? Uh, Ghost Boy. Ghost Boy. If you want to go. I'm going to fucking... Is you going to audible that? You going to audible that shit? Oh, well, because you can't read a physical book. I can't you're, with your ADHD ass. I can't audible at the minute. I'm too broke. So I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Can you not pay for audible? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, that was that's one of my like favorite stories. It, the the fact that he's fine now, obviously not fine because he's um got to talk for the computers up. But he, he seems to be happy. Is like genuinely like a really good thing. I got it. Have you actually got it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. that was fast, man. Hey, Jesus, come on. But yeah, <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Last one. This one is fucked up. Okay. So, <clears throat> in the late 1980s, a woman went on a vacation getaway where singles could meet other singles. Cute. She quickly thought she'd met the man of her dreams and decided to sleep with him that night. Gang. But when she woke up the next morning, the man was gone and there was a small wooden coffin on the table next to her. No, I'm out. I'm out. No. I'm going to ask you right now, do you open that coffin? No. You don't? Okay. No. Okay. Bro, what, so you're telling me, yeah, 
So I, I'm female, yeah. Yeah, you're you're a woman. I've gone old. Yeah. Bang man. Yeah. Woke up in the morning. Yeah. He ain't there, but there's a coffin. But there's a little wooden coffin next to you. I'm out. You're just leaving. I'm out. Dracula. I just banged Dracula, and now I'm haunted for the rest of my life. I I need to move the co- into a different country. Okay. Okay. You're not far off with the haunted for the rest of your life thing. What? Inside was a note that read, you are now HIV positive. Welcome to the world of AIDS. Right? Right? Fucking right? Imagine. Imagine, bro. HIV positive. Just there. You've gone out. Yo, you're dead. Yeah. That's murder. That's murder. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100% this is murder. This guy's gone out with the intent of giving God knows how many people AIDS. Thing is, right, he's done that beer clever as well, because I bet he didn't tell it, didn't use his real name. No. None of that. He's out of there in the morning, gone. He, he probably left the country that day. Or the, like at least the city. Like he pro- definitely wasn't from that area no, anyway. No. Do you get me? Well so, it was a, it was a vacation thing. That's what I'm saying. Like he definitely but like Yo, the amount of people he must be doing that to and just like not getting caught. That's fucked. Do you know the evil evil you have to be to willingly do that to people? Yeah, that's fuckery. Like, I want to know, again, like going back to what I asked you before, if I could ask her anything, I would be like, what exactly happened in your head when you read that note? I reckon, oh, yo, I don't know what I'd do. You just, you just sit there, wouldn't you? And you'd be like, this is the 80s as well. Yeah, like there's no treatment or nothing. No, they were like they they didn't have the treatment we have now for it. Plus, I don't even think that was illegal back then. What giving someone? Well, to like willingly giving someone AIDS because like AIDS was like <coughs> back in the eighties, especially it was like the gay disease. It was wasn't the gay it? disease, yeah. So like no one really gave a fuck. Yeah, and hundred percent. If she went to the police and was like, "A guy just gave me AIDS," they'd be like, "Well, that's your fault." Yeah. Also, she was a woman, and they'd be like, "Get the fuck out of here!" You yeah, got AIDS. yeah. They'd be like, "But what are you doing here?" Then? I'm not. I'm not like, touching yeah. you, like. Yeah, literally. Oh, bro, the, the way they treated people with AIDS back. That's in the what day, I'm saying, oh, bro. My God, it was rough. That's what he means. Like, welcome to the world of AIDS. It's like people are now going to treat you differently. Do you reckon he did it out of spite? Do you reckon he was like, "Well, if I got AIDS, everyone yeah, would like it. there got to be some sort of like." Mental fuckery. Yeah. Do you get me? He ain't, like, he ain't no normal person doing no. that. No. Do you get me? Like I said, there's, that's a specific kind of evil. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. That's, that's, that's got to willingly you gotta, do that you got to be different kind of top to fucking... Because AIDS, even now, it's one of the worst diseases you can get. Oh, yeah. Because it, you're basically signing your death. It fuck, That's what killed them... Um, Easy in the nineties, wasn't it? Easy, yeah. Uh, Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury, fucking, it's fuck, bro. It's it, countless, like obviously I haven't got the numbers right now, but countless of other people. But yeah, for treatment. I know treatment now is a lot better for it. It is, yeah. It is survivable now, isn't it? I, I know it's treatable. I don't treatable. know. I don't know whether similar it, to cancer. Yeah, yeah like yeah. You, I know you can go into like remission and stuff, but like you'll never be cured of it. Yeah. Obviously, if anyone in the comments knows, or yeah, you guys watching knows any more, please put in the comments and ed- educate us. Yeah, because obviously we don't have a clue. Because I'm Kieran and I'm stupid. <laughs> whoa. Sorry, sorry. Valid, but sorry. whoa. <laughs> but, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I keep saying, but, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, one thing, side note. Holly said the other day that me and you do this thing where we're like... Oh, yeah, yeah. And I've noticed that we, like, we do, in fact, do it, but I didn't know that it was this like much of an issue. But it's the whole thing of like where we're there and we're like... And like, oh, yeah. What was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, yeah, yeah. It was, so I I was telling a story and I was like, oh, yeah, and I and I did this, 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 and thing. And apparently me saying and thing isn't a normal thing. Well, it's, it's just like, just, it's just a different way to say etc., cetera, isn't it? Yeah, finish it in your head. <laughs> it's like, li- yeah, there's a list that goes on. Yeah. yeah. We do say it a lot. Yeah, well, I admit, it's we more like. It but if I said to you, like, if I was like, we were talking about something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, and that, you know, thing. 
you'd know exactly what I meant. Yeah, or, or, or like I turned to you and I was like, oh yeah, go to the shop and get some, you know, some like chocolate sweets and thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was... You know exactly what I mean, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I just meant? No, 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 that's no, like chocolate. No, no, it'd just be like, like a cut, it'd be like, like chocolate cetera. sweets, biscuits, some maybe, crisps, you know, just yeah. like bitties, innit? it? Some a couple of things. It must or... be a Welsh thing. Yeah, maybe. It might yeah, be a Welsh thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah. Sorry, but yeah. I'm, I miss doing it. Uh yeah. I was told you it was messed up. That is fucked though, yeah. Horrific, that's, innit? That's like, actual fuckery. My heart would fall out my ass. I've, do you know the feeling you had when you fucking got hacked? Oh, and, dude. And your fucking knees buckled? It'd be that, but ten times worse. Because what do you do? Like, I think I'm just... That's it. That's it for me. I couldn't... In the 80s as well. In the 80s, yeah. Because she probably thought, oh, well, I'm dead then. 100%. He's just... He you just, just killed, killed me. me. Yeah. yeah. But also, I'm, I'm, I'm also going to bring up the thing of she slept with him the same night. And this, yeah, no, I'm just bringing, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's wrong. Obviously, fucking women. Wi- it's one of those, it's like, want. yes, practice safe sex, this and the other. Well, apparently this story is told to like uh, young girls and daughters to not scare them, but to encourage them to practice safe sex. It's, yeah, like, it's and, valid. And it's it's one of those, like, people. you should know sexual history of all your partners and whatever, but. Oh, but again. It was the eighties. Yeah, it was a singles vacation, so you're not you're not going to expect that, are you? Like, yeah, it's not like she met him in a bar, didn't know his name. Like it, it, it says, it, she thought she met the love of her life. But this is what I'm saying. Like it is more fucked as well because my guy went there knowing, he, like that's a plan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he planned that. Meticulously. Get, like, oh yeah, I'm going to go on this couple's vacation, bang a girl, and kill her. Yeah. That's fucked. And, and then he probably went to another place and had, had sex with another girl and sentenced them to death. Nah, that's nuts. I wonder who gave him AIDS. He was definitely the one fucking monkeys. <laughs> he was he was patient zero. Yeah, he was 100%. a ghost friend. Um, but yeah, messed up story, man. Messed up story. That's so fucked. And yeah, I think like it's not like because there were people in the comments who were like. Well, she shouldn't have slept with him that night. It's like, fuck off, man. Like, yeah, it's got fuck all to do with it. It's like, fuck it. Everyone can say what they want about that thing, but it comes down to the guy who is the one who's done the most fuck thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Eh, people sleep with this people n- the first time meeting them. People fucking have one night stands. People yeah, do all happens, that anyway. But no one fucking intentionally gives people AIDS. Yeah, that won't even cross your mind when, no. you, when you're sleeping with someone for the first time what makes me sad is she was probably laying there after like you know it happened like falling asleep a bit euphoric and euphoric like, bliss yeah. thinking like oh this this vacation was worth it oh. like i didn't think i'd find someone but i did yo what are you making this sad for like, it's already morning. sad but why are you making it like yeah. that level of she, sad? she was probably naming her future kids oh yo that's rough bro yeah poor poor woman yeah but yeah, how long have we been going for? That's 57 <laughs> minutes. I will ask you one more thing in regards to that oh, story. Go on. What if it was your daughter? <sighs> but I'd be in jail. I'd go Liam Neeson. Lee, I was literally instantly Liam in my head. Neeson I was like Liam ass. Neeson. Yeah, yeah taken to. That's not even me being a fucking big, gruff, tough guy. I would find oh, that. Oh, I would find it. And it wouldn't be I'd find you in it and kill you. I'm going to find I'm, you and hurt you. Oh, I'll go Laura Biden Citizen on his ass. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what <laughs> a film. Apparently, it's not considered that good. Critics don't like it. I don't give a fuck about critics. That's a good film. Yeah, yeah. Underrated film. But yeah, that seems like a good place <laughs> I to I count run. how many times you've done that in this episode. <laughs> Please put it in like a count. Like, I will, yeah, I will, I will. Um, do you want to do the outro? Do you... But Oh, sorry, sorry. Shut the fuck up. Sorry. This is the Craig Not Craig channel, not the fucking Kieran channel. Sorry. Fucking hell. We are fuck. what, what am I doing apologizing? Fuck off, I'll do what I want. No, you won't. I, I, I'm the older brother. I have. A, I have never said that in my life. I have authority I have over never you. Once. I am power hungry. <laughs> Imagine if I was like that. He's not. He's not. Craig's actually a bit of a wimp. Hey. <laughs> nah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> Little bitch over here. Look at him. But yeah, unnecessary. <laughs> I had to go one more in. You gonna do it again?
I love Monster. <laughs> oh my um, god. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please check out all our socials in the link down follow below. Follow me, follow me, follow <laughs> me, follow me, follow me. Uh, also check out Holly's channel for our pumpkin. Hold the, if, gra grab the pumpkin. If you want to see this pumpkin with a face. I wonder if we get one on your head. If you want to see that, go over to Holly's oh, channel. God alive. And, uh, yeah. Are we summoning I'd... something right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the pumpkin ghoul. <coughs> <laughs> but as always... Wait, no, you missed a bit. What did I miss? It's like, oh, yeah, like, thank you guys for watching. We'll see, we see you in the next one. And as always... Thank you guys for watching, and as always, see you in the next... Is that right? No. no. <laughs> as always, thank you guys for watching. No. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And as always. Oh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And as always. You started a little bit. Do it again. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> wear your white socks. Wear them. <laughs> We're wearing white socks. Wear your white socks. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs>